May I share that one moment at the airport, which is in your book, so everyone's going to read it anyway. Right. Where a person comes up to you, uh, he, uh, his wife is with him, and he walks up to you and say, uh, says to you, so are you a homo? Yeah. And your response is, why are you interested? <laughs> and I thought that was just fabulous. That's, you know, the aplomb that and the tight slap that probably the man warranted. Well, it was, I, 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 it was what came out, uh, like literally it just came out very, um, because I thought it was an exceptionally inappropriate say thing. And the wife was clicking a photograph of mine while he was asking me this question. And he asked me, patting me on my back. It wasn't just a car. It was an over familiar pat. Like as if like I had, like, like we had dinner last night and he decided to ask me this question early in the morning. And it's happened to me, it's also in the book when I was on uh, the launch of a channel and it was an early morning breakfast interview where I was asked an inappropriate question and I was, I was completely shocked that we were on national television. Of course, it never made it because they realized that it was completely wrong. Luck, fortunately, it wasn't a live telecast. But sometimes you just wonder whether people just don't have the sensitivity or the decency or use language to ask a question that may not come across inappropriate. There are various ways. We are all, I'm a member of the media myself, I host a talk show, and I know sometimes when you want to kind of ask something, you can circumvent it with words and vocabulary. You don't suddenly just go up there and ask in the, pre in the pretense of being completely candid, or then uh, irreverent or perhaps over-familiar.